So everybody um, that watches my videos, I think, has some drive to wake up, to like live in the moment, like not in your head, not in the past, not in the future, but just essentially here. But my, my question to you is, how is that going to happen if you're holding on to, in your body, somatically, traumas that haven't been resolved, or deep-seated shame about who you are, or, what, or what's happened to you, or uh, deficiency stories that make you feel like you're not enough, or that you're not loved, or something. What we've done with this work, that we've, we've turned it into what we call the Killaby Inquiries, uh, KI for short is we've started to not only just focus on being in awareness, like the non-dual teachings teach you, because we think that's foundational, that, that's very important, is to come back resting in awareness and noticing that as your true nature. But what we've done is added on top of that very penetrative inquiry questions that sort of unravel and dissolve these things that keep you from abiding in the present moment so you can sit and i've watched people do this for years they can sit in meditation or coming back to resting in awareness and then you know over time it starts to shit they start to realize that they're now living more and more in the present moment and then boom what happens is is that trauma that they never dealt with or shame that they never dealt with or deficiency stories that were never truly resolved come back in one way or another making it hard to actually abide and live in the present moment. So if you can think of what the Killaby inquiries really are, it's a combination of everything that's good about non-dual teachings and throws away everything that's bad about them. So what's good about non-dual teachings is that they use awareness as the foundation and they show you essentially that your thoughts are not who you are. A thought comes through, but you're the awareness that sees it. A feeling comes through, but that's not what you are. And through those non-dual pointers, you start to recognize, I am this presence, or I, I am not this self that I take myself to be in thoughts. So we take the good and the best from the non-dual teachings, but then we throw away what hasn't worked. And what hasn't worked in the non-dual teachings is the almost complete disregard of things like real human issues like trauma, shame, deficiency stories, judgment, external pressure, um, boredom. These are the things that keep people from really living in the present moment. So with the Kill Will Be Inquiries, we've taken, again, the best of the non-dual teachings, recognizing those pointers that help us abide in awareness and see that thoughts are not who we are and live in the moment. But then we've gone much deeper than that. And we've gone into the somatic experience where you're holding on to pain and shame and deficiency stories and core wounds. And we're helping you to release that stuff from your body. And so when you release that stuff from your body and your body feels lighter, your mind gets lighter. And it's then much easier to actually live from and as present awareness. And that, my friends, is exciting.